Greece's prime minister has ruled out any new austerity measures. George Papandreou says he has every confidence that tax increases and wage and pension cuts will reduce the deficit by 40% this year, avoiding default. But as Nicolitano reports, the people are not easily placated. The city of Thessaloniki in Greece's north. A year ago, Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou came here as a candidate, promising jobs and stimulus. This weekend, he was back, asking for patience in these troubled times. Even if mistakes have been made, still, we did not make the greatest one of being inert and indifferent facing developments and allowing Greece to decline more and more. We got down to work and that is how we will continue. Here in the industrial north, the economic pain has been fierce. Unemployment in Greece's northern regions is higher than the national average. At an annual trade fair this weekend, Greece's big economic event of the year, Papandreou promised measures to lure investment and boost growth. He's banking on green industries. I say that things uh, took a lot of years to go down, and I think they will be need some years to go up again. We can just do like that and be all up. After a summer break, Greece's unions are back on the streets. They feel betrayed and promise a new wave of protest. Last year, uh, when Papadreou was uh, talking, uh, he was saying that uh, there are money, so people won't have to pay for the crisis. A year later, we, we see that this uh, was all, all lies. Inside the trade fair, Papandreou was addressing the nation, telling Greeks their sacrifices were helping build a new future. This scene is taking place just outside where Papandreou is giving his speech. There are thousands of protesters who have filed by here, most of them peaceful, but the crowd is certainly angry. The danger is that rage will spill over. Scenes like this threaten the reform process and the government's survival. Nicolitano, Bloomberg, Thessaloniki.